it's my pleasure to welcome back <laughs> uh, the founders of H Nation. I know Sedina Capanelli was on before, but now George is here with us too. Um, H Nation is an organization that offers solutions for baby boomers, elders, and older Gen Xers who will all be part of the 50% of the world's population that will be over the age of 50 in our lifetime. This is the first time in history that this will happen, and George and Sedina will tell us what that means mm -hmm. and what their work is doing, and so I'm so happy to have you both here. We're so it's glad nice to, to be here. Yeah. Yes. yeah, we yes. love this show. Well, and we love having you. It's great, and I know, <laughs> Sedina, you've been here before, so it's good to have yeah, you back. Thanks, and Carla. George, your, your first time, and My first, many yes. more, we yes, hope. I hope, too. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I always like to tell our audience who people are, so um, let's start with George. Who, who are you? What's your background, and what do you do? How'd you end up in Santa Fe? <laughs> Long story. <Yeah. laughs> um, uh, in terms of what uh, I've done, I've, I've done a variety of things from running advertising and marketing agencies to having a film and television production company in yeah. New York a number of years ago. Uh, have had a major uh, consulting firm for the last 25 years. Uh, uh, Sedina and I, of course, write some books together. Uh, Quite a few books, yes, I think. Uh, uh -huh. Well, two together so far, and the third one called Do Not Go Quietly uh, is mm -hmm. coming out shortly. Mm -hmm. Um, and of course, uh, Age Nation and the nonprofit that's uh, affiliated, Empower New Mexico, mm -hmm. uh, we created because um, when we made the passage, the end of life passage, with both of our sets of parents, mm -hmm. um, we discovered a number of things that really shocked us. Um, okay. One, that there isn't really a, a blueprint that people who are trying to be supportive mm -hmm. and guide their parents at that stage of life can follow. Uh, mm -hmm. We also discovered that uh, much of the health care and life care system is in disarray. Um, wow. mm -hmm. And that with this coming demographic revolution that you speak to, um, uh, it's really critical for us to invent new strategies, to find new solutions, to create new collaborations uh, between the private and the public sector. Okay. So we have a big job ahead, and that's what Age Nation and Empower are about. And it began just at that point where we were guiding our parents and discovering in our hearts uh, that we could not take as good a care of them as they took care of us when we were children. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's where much of the motivation for all of this comes from. That is great. Mm -hmm. Sedina? Yeah, well, for me, um, same with George. And my, my folks both uh, ended up having some type of Alzheimer's. Um, and I went through the life care, health care situation from afar because I was, I was. Uh, oh, from afar. Yeah, right. unfortunately, I was in mm -hmm. LA at the time, and my folks were in the Bay Area. But it was very disconcerting. Just everything didn't work the way I expected, and I kind of it was a shock for me. Uh, another thing that happened: George and I were invited to go to Australia to the International Conference on Aging, mm -hmm. and we were both very disappointed there at uh, what mm -hmm. the United States is doing for its elders. And, and I've been thinking about that for a long time. When I turned 50, which of course was not very long ago. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, thank you. Um, well, it's been a while, but <laughs> when I turned 50, I, uh, you know, I'm part Native American and I, I'm on my dad's side and I just um, kind of dipped into that heritage and learned that, wow, you know, this is really an exciting time of life. This is not <laughs> something to be afraid of or, or put my head in the sand about. It's, this is a time um, indigenous people believe that you're an elder, you're, you're wise, bring mm -hmm. everything you've garnered to this point and share it. So it became more exciting for me and we decided to the books we've been writing, you know, that we would take it to another level mm -hmm. because we're in the second half of life and it's time to really dig in and change that vision, the antiquated vision of aging that we have in this culture. Right, where you are. And turn it around and reinvent our dreams and reinvent and recreate what it means to Don't be Don't go quietly, huh? Don't yeah, do go not quiet. go quietly. Do not go quietly. Yeah. That's great stuff. So both your parents are gone now? Yes. yes. Both gone. Yes. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. I'd love to have them here. <laughs> That's right. Well, um, I know that recently my mother died, and I yes. had help with my from my two daughters and from my mm -hmm. husband. And I thought, I wonder who's going to be around to do that for me. Uh, yes. And yeah. it was it's interesting questions for sure. Right. So H Nation is two things. It's a for-profit, and then well, H Nation is the for-profit. Empower New Mexico is the yes. nonprofit. So yes. what do they do different? Well. Uh, 
there are different things that for-profits and non-profits can do. Sure. And when we talked before about new strategies and new solutions, in order to raise the capital and, and generate strategic alliances and uh, engage different uh, strategic partners, uh, people who are in the non-profit world need to do that at the moment with non-profit partners. Uh, and people in the for-profit world mm -hmm. do it that way. Mm -hmm. So we decided it would be incredibly valu valuable to approach the challenges mm -hmm. and the opportunities from both sides. Oh, great. Yeah. Now, uh -huh. the organizations are distinct and separate. They have their own advisory committees and operating boards and all the rest of it. But together, we're able to approach the conversation about, as Sidina says, how do we put a new face on aging in America? How do we create mm -hmm. uh, new opportunities from both sides of the coin? And so Age Nation is national and international? Or? Well, at the moment our focus is national, but we've begun mm -hmm. some discussions because um, Europe, uh, uh, Japan has the oldest constituency in the world. Really? Uh, Spain, uh, Greece have the, the next oldest. Then there's Italy and France and, and, and Britain. Uh, and so Europe uh, and parts of Asia uh, are ahead of us in the need for all of this. And yeah, so okay. yes. it's yeah. our intention to make Age Nation headquartered here, but international in scope. Yeah. Okay. And you know, there's a, an old African proverb that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Hey, there you go. And yeah. it's really time for us to do things together. It's mm -hmm. time for us to come. The Hopis say, you know, the, the age of the lone wolf is over. And to yeah. swim into the middle of the river and look around and see who's there with you mm -hmm. and swim together. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we're, we're doing a lot of the things that we're doing with H Nation, producing things for Empower that supports the vulnerable okay. elders in our community. Um, and also just really buoys up all of our energy and, and uh, gets us to turn around our thinking and maybe honor some of our elders. And that's why we did Roberta Flack and Sean Colvin at the Santa Fe Opera. Okay. And we did the Broadway series. That's we right. Came yes. here and talked to you about. That was great. Uh, all just to celebrate this mm -hmm. time of life and, and those people that are sort of leaders and that have done great things. Great yeah. stuff. I know before we went up, before we went live, you were talking about something that you're doing with Albuquerque. Is that well, through Empower New Mexico? Uh, through it? Age Nation. Age, Age Nation, Nation has a consulting mm -hmm. division, mm -hmm. and we help organizations uh, both in the private and public sector think through to the future. What's next? How mm -hmm. do we deal right. with this demographic revolution? Oh, what does it impact mm -hmm. on uh, the ecology and the economy and the political mm -hmm. and uh, the e economic sectors? And uh, so uh, we work with uh, the Department of Senior Affairs in Albuquerque, and we're helping them uh, kind of consider how does the city prepare mm -hmm. for the future. Uh, we've talked to Mayor Koss about uh, the mm -hmm. same kind of thing, because mm -hmm. here in Santa Fe, of course, we have a very large segment of our population mm -hmm. that is already 50 and over. So being ahead of the curve is going to be very important for us. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, our city is leading the country as one of the cities our our population here is 62 percent already over 50. 62 percent over 50. Percent. Yeah. So I'm one of them. Yes. That's a lot. Yeah, yeah. that's a lot. Yeah. yeah. So is it your experience that cities aren't doing that? Haven't done that? I, I don't think. Uh, I don't think thinking about. How I don't think our federal government, our state mm -hmm. governments, our local governments, many of our institutions, and a lot of our businesses still are not. Uh, see, America is a, a youth obsessed, age-averse culture. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people at a lot of levels don't like to even think about getting old. Mm -hmm. sure. uh, and unfortunately, the population That's in happened. America is graying, and we need to be prepared for it, or mm -hmm. uh, the economic challenges we've just been through are going to seem insignificant by mm -hmm. comparison to those that can result. Uh, and yet at the same time, there's incredible opportunity for people who are 50 and over to reinvent mm -hmm. themselves, to mm -hmm. discover and invest mm -hmm. in new careers, to follow their creative passions, to uh, invest some of their legacy in, uh, mm -hmm. uh, in the society that we live in. So there are unique ways, instead of people simply uh, leaving money to their families, there are ways to do both and, and reinvest in America. So we're all for all of those things, and it's an exciting time. It is. It's a very exciting time. We don't have to implode when we get older, Absolutely. you know. Mm -hmm. And we're not invisible. 
you know? <laughs> We've, this whole generation, I mean, mo a lot of this generation is responsible for much of the consciousness change, you know, Absolutely. that, that mm -hmm. went on in our world. Mm -hmm. Human rights, civil rights, mm -hmm. nuclear disarmament, animal rights, you know, it goes on and on. Name it. And so why would we sit back now and, and act like, oh, you know, yeah, I'm, we didn't I'm do that. gonna retire <laughs> right. and I'm gonna go play golf or something. Mm -hmm. It's time, you know, we can still, it doesn't mean that we shouldn't be going in mm -hmm. and doing more on the inside, meditation and that kind of thing. That's a big part of this time of life. Uh, but the other side is, you know, we can really, like George said, reinvent ourselves in mm -hmm. a way, you know? We have yes, all that knowledge and experience mm -hmm. to bring to this moment, besides mentoring younger people and learning from them, too. Absolutely. I mean, a big part of us is, age nation is cross-generational, you know? That's great. So, I, I did hear a keynote by a young person recently who said, baby boomers, please don't retire because we don't know anything. <laughs> so uh -huh. that's the kind of thing you're speaking to. Oh, that's funny. So you're, the H yeah. Nation website has a lot on it. It's, it can be a resource for older people. Tell and us about yes. the website. Yes, yes and it's only, that's only the beginning, actually, what's really? on there. We have the H Nation Post, which is a, a kind of online ma uh, magazine newspaper. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the H Nation Radio Network, which is a podcast oh, okay. network. Um, mm -hmm. We have Next, which is a new national digital magazine. Uh, that has great features and people and information and all the rest of it. We have a conference and educational division. We're right. going to have uh, online webinars and programs. Mm -hmm. There'll be a, a full store for products and services and all of those things. So uh, agenation.com will be an incredibly robust site. And uh, of course, the conference that's coming up mm -hmm. uh, is, an, ex is yeah. an extension yeah. of all that. Yeah.